open up like every peach in the world. Yeah, I guess like also like peach flow might be kind of hard to deal with, right? Yeah, that makes and sense. I mean Toad is very experienced in this matchup. Definitely. Like he knows it like the best. There's a lot of uh, Mewmon experience. Yeah, a lot of Mewmon experience. That's what it is. But um, yeah, I mean Ash is on his way to being PR. Where, I mean he's coming up really well. We went to high school together actually. Oh really? Yeah. He's oh, okay. even Redacious. You guys want one? So two Greninja mains and one Steve main. One of you guys got got the correct character down at least. Well, I was a Luigi and he was a he was a Pokemon trainer. Right. Redacious. Oh god. So <laughs> oh. you could say we had our humble beginnings. Yeah, looks like Esther kinda has a game plan. He's just throwing throwing a lot of shurikens, which it makes sense. Like it's like a like it's like a not like a crazy answer, but like it's a solid answer yeah. to Peach Flow, right? You don't have to interact with exactly. it. Exactly. So Toad's going to be looking for a lot of those downers at that at like that float range, that like short hop height, because it's really good at poking Greninja and really good at pressuring it without punish. So you kind of have to like, from the Greninja side, take the downer and then like kind of call out what Peach is going to do after. Okay. Like a lot of Peaches will dare and then there and then dash away. That's something that Toad does a decent amount. Sometimes he'll spot, like he'll do it and then he'll just hit you again. Okay, that makes sense. So it's kind of a 50-50 in that scenario. Yeah, and I guess like... Peach floating in that kind of area, like, you know, like if she gets hit with the stray, like that, that's kind of it. Like she gets hit with the back air and then like neutral has to reset. Yeah, exactly. Like okay, it? that up smash too, that's that's just specifically, that's because he likes catching Greninja jumping in. Okay, that makes sense. My fault, honestly. <laughs> I get hit by it a decent amount. <laughs> Got an edge guard here. I can imagine Flood would be pretty good against Peach though, right? What's up? Flood, like flooding, or not Flood, sorry. Hydro water, Pump? Hydro Pump, So yeah. Hydro Pump has its, like, that's some, something I kind of recently been noticing, but something you can do here is when Peach is doing those float ledge, like, ledge cancels, you can, like, drop down, jump, Hydro Pump out the stage so that the water goes into Peach and then Hydro Pump back in oh, and grab and Peach the ledge. Kinda, Peach kind of goes up, right? Yeah, Peach, like, gets flying, goes yeah. flying. So it's something I've been kind of experimenting with. So here's the part that I think Toad's really good. I think Toad's really good at not dying. Yeah, Toad is really hard to kill. And I think depending on like how you know against Greninja, Greninja can kind of struggle to take stocks. Yeah, and exactly. Time. He kind of needs raw kill confirms or like a raw fair. Let's get back there though. Yeah. That's the guy up. up. I mean, Aster's looking clean right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, and, and Greninja with a lead well, is like. Well, that's the me. Ah, <laughs> that's the you. <laughs> I pioneered that. <laughs> All right, I like this ledge traffic coming in. Not really coming in too hard <laughs> with shurikens, but uh, yeah. kind of loses it. <laughs> Doesn't say, and like, here comes the hard part. Like, taking a Greninja start, uh, Greninja start can definitely be kind of hard. Like, yeah. character just is, you know, like, uh, no pun intended, like, character is just slippery, right? Yeah, Greninja's really hard to hit. It's like, probably like. Uh, he feels like he's like trying to hit a short character with a, with a fox dash attack. Yeah. You know? It's like a harder to hit version of fox. Literally. Yeah. So he can definitely be kind of hard to take stocks. Yeah, especially, especially when Greninja's dashing along the ground everywhere. Yeah, especially like at this point where like no confirms will really kill him. Like you have to kind of dash attack like that, but like if the eye is on point, then like you know like what's stopping Aster from just throwing shurikens and then like exactly. and, like nearing and down something like float ins yeah. and fairing float ins like that. I'm doing, like, he's doing a really good job at swatting these float ins though. Yeah, and with rage, well yeah. he's probably out of percent now, but like down tilt up should. Would super would have super yeah. killed him at like eighty percent. And Toad is throwing out all these like dash attacks, but he's really mistiming them. I can get what he's he's trying to whip on this like the fair like coming down, but he's just really mistiming it and kind of getting fared for it. Yeah, definitely. And so I, I think Toad is starting to scatter out a little bit. Okay, he got a dash attack. Toad is definitely starting to look for these rolls now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like this zone that Ash has got going right now, though. But something that um, Peach can do if they're just throwing shurikens at her is just kind of pull turnips, which we're not really seeing here do for uh, Peach. Do too much right now. I was gonna say, yeah, definitely. He definitely has a turnip in hand. He's like waiting to get a good amount, of, like a, a good conversion off of it, but yeah. kind of throws it away. He gets a hit and he gets a neutral one for it. Like that should have been a turnip pull right there that he had, but he instead tried to push advantage a little too far, which kind of ended up in him losing it. Yeah, definitely. Down air. He made this comeback. Basically, this is basically even. Uh, yeah, this like, is the damage output I was talking. About. Like the, it's really easy to kind of blend up damage on Greninja when you hit him because yeah. he's so like susceptible to. And this is definitely stock robbery range for Peach. Yeah. Like one like down tilt fair or like anything like that. Yeah, but speaking of fair, good fair catching the Nair in. That's just fairs are actually super on point. Yeah. Best Greninja fairs in Chicago, if, if <laughs> you have my personal opinion. Nobody got it like him. Oh, goes for Shadow Sneak. Okay, that Maybe one not the best Shadow Sneak That one to kill, but it would have low-key cheese because Toad didn't have a float or a jump there, I think. Yeah. Toad taking his time here. He's yeah. on the clock. He's not pulling turnips, though. He's still trying to approach this zone. Yeah, definitely trying to find a way in. 
Oh, up smash. Okay. I think he should have uh, jumped on the platform in the nair again. Yeah, definitely. That would have covered everything. Yeah. And like, it's not like up smash would have killed. No. However, no flow. All right, he makes it back, but he's done like crazy high percent. This discipline from Mona is just beautiful right now, though. He's just not letting Toad in at all. Yeah, and Toad is not pulling turnips, so there's no reason for him to stop. Exactly. He's definitely just okay with not approaching. Yeah, exactly. Good catch on the jump in. All right. And good fair to, to ledge trap or to frame trap that. Uh, well, the that, stock that, is that definitely possible. I mean, it is Peach. Hey, yeah, it is Peach. Take like what one down tilt, right? Ooh, he could have shadow stick there. He could have got the the hit detection where it covers every single option. You know, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, that is. It's actually kind of character broken. Good. It's like the only like real use for shadow sneak. That <laughs> and hitting common in game three when he jumps off disadvantage. That's the other one. Dude, I can't believe I got cheated. <laughs> I can't believe you lost that set. Seriously. Nah, but Loki. Okay, he's pulling turnips now. Like yeah. he, he's got something he's got going. It going. Yeah. He's got something going. There's only a minute left, but like it, it probably won't go to time. But like, you know, never say never. I guess. Yeah. Okay, I mean, right fair now. Fair on, on bad di. Good upbeat. Don't he's jump a, here. Uh, here he has yeah. Go fair again. Also, something that Mona can be doing is he can just double jump and go to center because Peach is so slow that you can kind of just. Ooh. Ooh, lucky. He should just. Ooh, he should just double he's, jump yeah, out of there. He's playing super grounded. There's no reason to fight dangerous. this corner. Ooh. All right, this is officially a percent lead. Oh my god, they both countered. They both countered, thinking of something. This is a really bad spot. Yeah, yeah that roll was. Oh, oh he's living. not going to be it. Oh my god. Just double jump out. Oh. This is honestly. Uh, what, do you, what do you do at this point, right? Greninja's definitely fishing for grabs because Peach is going away from down tilt. It takes one fair. It takes one bear yeah. from both of these. You need fair. Oh yeah, he's. Okay. He's, he's that's it. Yeah. I kind of want to see a timeout, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you could tell Toad was kind of playing for the timeout. He definitely floated under there for like a really yeah. long time. Something Toad, like Toad is not afraid to play to play the time. He's, yeah. uh, I've seen, I watched him play Renacious on Kalos once. Ugh. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. That was, uh, that was, that was kind of over Midwest Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it was honestly based, based as hell though. I mean, what is Steve going to do about that? Definitely. like. You really can. Yeah. I've been thinking about that too. Like, what I if too, what yeah. if Fox just shoots like one laser and then just starts like illusioning you across can the illusion platforms? You the other platforms, yeah. Like, what what can Rodacious really do? Or not even Rodacious, but like Steve, Steve in general. What, what can they really do about Van that? Van <laughs> Literally, that's yeah. it. But Loki, you can kind of do it on town a little bit too. True. I know the platforms can like the set. Well, when it's flat, it can get a little annoying. But like when yeah. the platforms are there, they're like, there for like a minute. Yeah. Did they go back? Uh, I would imagine they go back to Stadium. I think Stadium is probably like the most neutral stage in the game. Oh no! Battlefield. This is not. This is no. Not a good. Not a good stage for Greninja. Not against. Not well. The stage is. Yeah, maybe you're Greninja, but watch this. That's just gonna prove to you. Nah, bro. If if Toad can beat Toyoki on Battlefield, then. <laughs> uh, this the stage is like. Well, I don't know if the stage is really good for Peach, but the stage is really good for Toad. No, oh, it's like a player, like a plan of a player stage. Yeah, I don't think I've like ever. I've never really seen him lose on the stage. What stage would you have taken him back to PS2? Back to Stadium. He just bans like Kalos, FD Town, right? Stadium, small, or yeah, Stadium or small. Small Battlefield would have been pretty good, but like yeah. the way Astro was playing, he was playing really solid. Just kind of got ledge trapped that last, the last moment. That I was looking like a solid timeout. Yeah. I think you know. Toad definitely banned Kalos, though, so I mean, I'd probably go to like Town if that was the other option. That makes sense. Good catch on the air dodge with Nair, but didn't really read where it was going to go, so yeah. kind of missed on, out on that. Back to neutral. Oh, tries to find that up smash, but not necessarily catching Is that killed? Hit. Yeah, if it hit the tipper. Jeez. That's actually strong if you hit the right spot. Otherwise, it's kind of weak, though. Toad kind of floating in like a really uncomfortable range for Greninja, like a range where he can't really like. Like, the only way he could hit that is if he, like, rising fair, right? Exactly. But, but that's, he, like, kind of like a bad move, my, like a bad move to go my, for. My option for that, like, is I always rising bear. Yeah. But, like, I don't rising rising bear. I, like, jump slightly, delay the bear so I can fall it. That way it's safer because it's not, like, completely rising. And it's also, if I get it, I can drag the back air down and down tilt. That makes sense. Unless I want stage control, then I just go for the normal back air. But. Okay, there, go, there come the back airs. Nice fair, catch the platform landing. Got a lift up going on here. Yeah. 
tries to catch him sneak, tries to catch him acting out of shield, but Toad's just okay with waiting, right? Yeah. Kanan's just not going to really grab at these percents, not, at least not a lot. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to look for grab, but that's the, the thing with that is Grinage's, like kill options are so telegraphed that you kind of have to not be afraid to throw out grabs in this spot. Just because yeah, stage control, it's kind of like Fox. Yeah. But not as bad. <laughs> Well, the grab is worse than Fox's, but the actual stuff off of it the is The stuff you better. get off of it is good, right? Like yeah, DIing bad on down better. throw. Yeah. Down throw back air. <laughs> Forward throw. Back throw does damage. Up throw kills. And shield up. This is a... Uh, Aztec could definitely just take the stock without taking too much damage. Yeah. Ooh, he could have low-key threw a shuriken out there, but he didn't. Good forward tilt. Good up tilt. I got hit by that side being not going to lie. <laughs> Bro, you don't have Hydro Pump. I don't. Good up air. Oh, messes up the up air. You could have got a really good juggle. Could have got one of those Mute's up air juggles. Yeah. Oh, Mute is so good at doing that. Yeah, that's like his thing. Ooh, like, I was just say grab there, but I was low-key wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good dash attack. Up air. Okay, we can get Back some air. damage here. Okay, oh, that's fine. Right. Up air, up air. That's fine. We'll go for it. Nice 57%. He just needs to get back on the stage, though. Kind of yeah. put himself in a bad position. Dash attack. Ooh, bad. On bad D. I tried to just out. Yeah. Ended up DIing bad. So now he's dead. And this is kind of a this is kind of a bad bad like it doesn't look too bad, right? It only takes like like two neutral ones for like Greninja to yeah. like win, but like it's hard to hit Peach. I was gonna say the way Toad's been playing, like this is more so like four neutral wins. Yeah. Also Toad is very conscious of down tilt and as a peach player he plays really well around it. Yeah. He like floats at the range that you can't down tilt them in typically, so it's kinda hard to like get that. Dude, they get up attack those eleven damage. Huh? They get up attack those eleven damage. That's messed up, I didn't know. <laughs> That's a bear, and it's gonna be a ledge trap. Oh he just yeah. pulled the turn up. He's starting to he's like kinda realizing the asterisk can't fix, so you know what, maybe I'll pull the turn up. Finally, yeah. you know, something he's kinda starting to do. He's catching a lot of these rolls and dashes in. That's how he ended off first, uh, the first game. Yeah. Nice grab. Comes up and grabs him, yeah. Yeah, Toad's just kind of, uh, Toad kind of has all the information he needs. He's just kind of opening Aster up at this point. Exactly. He's not really mixing up his defensive habits. All right. Close are fair, but fair. It. Yeah, he's just going to look for another roll in here. It's a good fair though. Okay. He's fairing where like Toad wants to swing, where where Toad thinks that Ash is gonna be. So he's just kind of putting his fairs with, over there, which have been pretty good. I yeah, I see agree. like a little more grab. Good fair, yeah. He All just right. started fairing exactly where like Toad thinks Ash is well, gonna be. Greninja can definitely make this comeback. Yeah, he definitely can, right? Yeah. He could take it. Ooh, uh, ooh, that was that was honestly the game there, but he just didn't just stick to it. Good DI on the good, good DI on the dash tag. He definitely tried to get his own dash tag in there or something. I really want to see Mona just double jump to the other side of the stage on ledge because there's not much Peach can really do about that unless it's like really commit to it. Yeah. So honestly, this only takes like a yeah. Never mind. <laughs> it did only take like two dash attacks. I was gonna say it only yeah. took like a dash tag and like maybe some bad DI on like the dash tag for like some up airs. Yeah. But. Even with the bad DI though, that stuff can still be kind of. Kind yeah, of disgusting. Definitely. I was gonna say though, for against someone who has a lot of Greninja experience, I don't think Astro did too bad. Just no, has to clean up a not. lot of those like defensive habits he had, like those roll-ins and those dash-ins. Yeah, like I said, he's really good. He's on the come-up right now, in my opinion. I think he's a shoe in for PR. Let's see. What we got next? Who What's do up? we have next? Who's stepping up to the plate? I see a. Okay, I'm not really too familiar. <laughs> I thought that was Matt Beach, but I don't think it's Matt Beach. That is not Matt Beach. That is not Matt Beach. I'm willing to bet money that it's not Matt Beach. No, not quite. It's actually Matt oh, Beach's so opponent. Matt Beach is up, his twin, yeah, his is. evil twin. His evil twin. 